So, Sidemen. I heard the Sidemen charity match is coming up. And I believe you would need a commentator. I could do both main and I could do second commentary. I know you guys have Spencer and Steven try the commentary. But I'm a real. He needs to switch it up. He needs to, I don't know, like race, dynamic. I'm a prolific commentator. I'm about to commentate on the old Sidemen charity match. The one that took place in 2022. And I'm going to show you my abilities when it comes to commentating. And if you like them, hire me. I'm dressed for the occasion. So, let's get into this. Welcome to the Valley for the highly anticipated Sidemen charity match against the YouTube All-Star. And here taken by Castro, he passes it straight to Chunks. He kicks the ball in his own face. With KSI with the ball, now bring the ball forward. And he's absolutely taken out by Aisho Speed. That is a reckless tackle. And he's celebrated. Now, this is the type of thing we like to see in a Sidemen charity match. But the tackle was a bit extreme for my liking. And is that Chris MD trying to not make speed? <laughs> Went for a big one today. We're now into the fifth minute of the game and Chunks has the ball and he's bringing it forward. He loses the ball to Mr. Beast but it bounces straight to Nico Amalana who tries to do some skills. The ball has landed at Bazinga who looks for a pass. Toby takes a heavy first touch and he doesn't look like he wants to go forward. And he gets taken out by speed with an absolutely beautiful tackle. And we've got Chunks here who lines one up. The ball's flying and it travels into the top corner. That is shocking goalkeeping by Pai. But Chunks absolutely laced one straight into the top corner. And the YouTube All-Star team are going crazy. Which is well deserved because this was a brilliant strike. If we're doing that in the fifth minute, we're in for a brilliant game. The YouTube All-Star on another attack with Young Philippe carrying the ball through the midfield. Straight down the heart of it. He's got three defenders in front of him and the ball goes to Calfrizi. But Young Philippe with a brilliant tackle to Nicola Milana who chips Pai face. And we've got a pitch invader here too. But that was a brilliant finish from Nico, and that was hard work from Young Philly, who did not give up on that loose ball. Credit has to go to Young Philly, but that was a brilliant finish from Nico. Within 8 minutes, the YouTube All-Star team has now made the score 2-0. This was brilliant by Philly. What an absolute slide tackle. And this was a lovely little dink from Nico. But the real question, how did this pitch invader get onto the pitch? Like, how did he get there? But Pyface is having an absolute shocker in the first opening 10 minutes. Edmund need to bounce back here. And we've got Mini Minter on the ball here. He passes the ball straight out to Vickstar. Vickstar is wide open. He sets himself up for a shot. And it goes straight underneath Kyle the Dragon's hand. Vickstar with an open play goal. What an absolute finish from Vickstar who set himself up for that. That was poor keeper from Kyle the Dragon. But take nothing away from Vickstar. And we've got people from the other team and the Sidemen team celebrating that goal. That was an absolute brilliant finish from Vickstar. He set himself up. That shows brilliant composure. Vic is getting a goal a game nowadays for the Sidemen team. He's showing. He's more clinical than certain players. Shot conversion rate must be high. But this was a brilliant finish. Poor defending from the YouTube team for leaving him wide open there. But Cow the Dragon, how you let that ball slip underneath your hands, I will never know. But this was an absolute finish from Vic Star. Keeper should have done better. We have Danny Aarons over here looking to take the throw in. He throws one out straight to Chunks. Oh, this is a bad throw in. Manny intercepts it. And he runs straight past Will and e. Manny's using his pace to burst down the wing. Manny has got two options here. He's got Simon and he's got Top Jizzle out wide. Who does he decide to go for? It was a loose touch, but it bounces straight to Top Jizzle. He passes the mini mentor. Bets it straight back to Top Jizzle. Top Jizzle lines one up for the shot and it goes in. Another goal for the Sidemen team. They have now leveled it after 17 minutes. This is what you call a bounce back. Because they were down two goals early within the first eight minutes of the game. Now the Sidemen team have now leveled it again. And now look at the Sidemen team. They're dancing. Wow, it's only 2-2 and they're dancing on the fair play. This was a brilliant counter-attack which started with Manny. It was a 3v3 and Manny absolutely found the right choice. And it was a lovely 1-2 by Simon and Toby to level up the scores. Cow the Dragon looks furious with his defence and himself after letting that goal in. Got a corner here which Danny Aaron's going to take. Look at him with his little goggles. He crosses the ball in, it's a poor cross which goes straight out of the danger area, cleared by Manny, which falls straight to Young Philly. Young Philly has Kallax one on one, goes straight past him, shoots one and it goes straight into the top corner. Oh my god, what an absolute strike from Young Philly. This goal might be better than Trunks's. Oh my god, Pie Face with another screamer that went straight by him. YouTube All-Star only scores bangers. My god, they only score bangers. That was an absolute strike from Young Philly. It was a poor cross from Danny Aarons, which was cleared by Manny, which falls straight to Young Philly, who beats Kallax one on one and then absolutely smashes one into the top corner. This was towards keeper side as well. Wow, what a goal. I don't know what happened to Manny for him to go straight down after clearing the ball, but the ball falls straight to Young Philly. Looking at the replay, Chunks gets the ball first. What a pass. Oh, I believe Chunks caught Manny on the way down. But he beats Kallax so easily and smashes one straight past Pyface. 
the YouTube All-Star team now takes the lead again. This is looking like an absolute thriller. We are now in the 30th minute and Simon has the ball. He has Chris from the Mr. Beast team isolated on the wing. He gives Manny a pass, a quick give and go. The ball goes straight back to Simon who has Young Philly isolated. And Simon goes for a shot! He even goes for a cross and he beats Calder Dragon. Now you have to look at the positioning of the goalkeeper here. It's absolutely terrible. How he managed to get beaten from there is a joke. Wow. Simon beat Chris on the wing with a quick give and go from Manny. He had Young Philly isolated. Young Philly thought he covered the cross, but he didn't expect the ball to go in past his goalkeeper. This is brilliant awareness from Mini Minter to see that the keeper was caught off his line. To absolutely put the ball straight past him is absolutely brilliant. And it's a piece of genius. Because how the goalkeeper is that far away from his line, he was anticipating a cross to come into the box, but he didn't understand that he left this much of a gap on his side that Simon could just lace one in. Both the keepers are having howlers. For the second time in this game, the scores are all level again. And it's now 3-3. Noah Beck here with a couple of skills. Noah Beck has defenders backing off him. Manny tries to tackle him. Passes the ball straight to Theo Baker. He goes past Mr. Beast easily. Lays just one in. Which goes straight underneath the hands of Pie Face. I cannot lie to you. Pie Face has had a howler. Any shot from range and is going in. But that was another incredible strike from the YouTube All-Star team. And this time by Theo Baker. It doesn't look like Pie Face has the answer for these long shots. This is the third shot outside the box that has gone in. But that was quick feet by Theo Baker to get past Mr. Beast and to beat the slide tackle of KSI. Oh, what a rocky of a shot by Theo Baker. The YouTube All-Star team have now made it 4-3 and have taken the lead again for the third time. Oh, we have got a tackle by Anison Gibb which is called as a foul. Get a look across and Toby's in acres of space. Mini Minter looks like he's about to take one. He takes a quick free kick straight to Toby who's in space. What a pass by Mini Minter. Toby was a poor touch first but regains. Goes straight past the key. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is an absolute defensive howler from the YouTube All-Star team. But can we just give credit to the ball that Simon just gave to Toby? Because Toby was absolutely in acres of space. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's onside as well. How he would manage to get that much space, I would never understand. But what an absolute set-piece routine. Toby would have poor first touch at first, but then regained. Managed to skip past the defender, skip past the goalkeeper and put that in. Now levelling up for the third time today. Making it 4-4. The Sidemen team can just not lay down and die. They really want to go for the win here. That was a poor tackle from Will and E. But Toby just quickly skips past that. The YouTube All-Star team are trying to take the lead again. Thea Baker's now on a dangerous attack. He passes the ball straight to Castro. Castro laces one in and it goes straight into the bottom right hand corner. Oh my goodness. Castro with another goal in the Sidemen charity match. This guy cannot stop scoring. Laying down a mark about why he should be a regular in these Sidemen charity matches with another brilliant finish. Straight from kickoff, they managed to take the lead again. That YouTube All Star team are telling the Sidemen team no matter how many times you equalize, we will take the lead again. Because this is the fourth time they have taken the lead in this match. Straight from kickoff, Nico straight to Castro to Theo Baker. He lays one straight back to Castro with a brilliant left foot finish into the bottom right hand corner. Oh, we're in for an absolute game. Anybody who paid for tickets for this game, you're in for a thriller. The score is now 5-4 in the 50th minute. We still have a lot more football left to play. We have now got Noah Beck driving through the heart of the midfield. Skips past a tackle from KSI with to Aisho Speed. Aisho Speed takes a brilliant finish, but he looks offside. I'm going to be honest, he looks offside. But Aisho Speed doesn't care. He hits the Sue and the whole crowd reacts. But he is so far offside. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He is so offside. Even the linesman and the crowd are laughing. I show speed when he takes a look across the field, he will know the goal will not stand. I think he's just realised now that the goal will not stand and he's angry. He looks absolutely livid with the referee. But he was a mile offside. He's taken off his shirt now which means he will get booked for it. Chunks is now explaining the rules to him that he is <laughs> in fact offside. But it was a lovely finish. I believe he just needs to learn the offside rule again. Because if he stayed onside and he timed his run perfectly, he would have had himself his first goal in the Sidemen charity match. And then, ah, it's quite sad. His dream was short-lived. He looked absolutely devastated. And now Chunks is handing him a yellow card. Aisho Speed has taken the yellow card out of Chunks' hand. Wait, hold up here. What's Aisho Speed going to do with this yellow card? He's taking a run at the referee. I believe he's going to give the card to the referee. He's sprinting at the ref. He just hit the referee on his backside. <laughs> Aisho Speed has been booked for obviously taking off his shirt, but that was a lovely finish by him. Speed is a menace and the score remains 5-4. Chris indeed passed the ball straight to Mini Minter out wide. If Simon takes on his defender, he will absolutely beat him. But he decides to chop in, 
Travella passes out, goes straight to the defender. Chandler passes the ball to George Not Found. Simon with a brilliant tackle. That was laps of days ago from George Not Found. Gets tackled by Mini Mentor, who takes a shot and it goes straight past Cal the Dragon. That is horrific goalkeeping. The standard of goalkeeper we're witnessing this game is a joke. And Simon is just laughing. I'm not gonna lie to you. That type of goalkeeping was, was below par from Cal the Dragon. Even Simon is using that opportunity to just laugh. But after we take a look at this goal again, you will understand that that was horrific goalkeeper. Cow the Dragon, you need to have a look at yourself because what have I just witnessed here? This was bad from George Not Found, who got slide tackled by Simon. He quickly skips past Chris and takes a shot which, and then it just goes straight underneath the legs of Cow the Dragon. Like, let's be honest, that should not be happening. But this was a brilliant slide tackle though. Quick steps past Chris and absolutely smashes one home. And again, the sidemen are showing resilience to now have leveled the score up again. It's now 5-5. Five -five. I've now got Rotosh on the ball here who pings one straight out wide to Chris MD who takes it brilliantly. Who takes a shot and it's gone straight past Cal the Dragon. There's no way that that goal has gone in. There's not an absolute chance. There's no way. I'm nowhere. Be hey, we can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What? A ball out wide from Rotoshaw straight to Chris MD who takes one and shoots keeper's side. I don't know what's going on with Toby here, he might be injured. Let's take nothing away from Chris MD. That was a lovely shot that he took. My word, how has this gone past Cal the Dragon? He went straight for him. And for the first time today, the Sidemen have taken the lead. It is now 6-5 in favour of the Sidemen team. Now we got I show speed who goes past Mr. Beast and he's reunited with KSI. They're going for a battle right now. KSI has won the ball back from I show speed. I show speed has won the ball and now he's standing over KSI. Mr. Beast passes the ball out and he lands straight to Chunks. Chunks takes a long shot which is parried away by Pie Face into the path of Nico. And Nico slots it straight past Pie Face. Wow. The score is now 6 6. I show speed won the ball back off KSI. And then Mr. Beast passes it straight to Chunks and Chunks shoots and he gets parried away straight into the path of Nico. But unlucky from Pie Face. That was unlucky from Pie Face. He's made the save, but it was just the person who got the second ball was Nico. Mr. Beast passed the ball into no man's land. And then Pie Face did the best he could, but Nico was just alert and got the rebound. That's what poachers do. And just like that, the score is now 6 6. So far, we have seen 12 goals in this game and we're still not done. And look at Aisho Speed standing over KSI. He might have kicked him in the head on the way down. Chunks passes the ball straight to Will and E. Will and e slots it past Pie Face. Would you believe it? Will and e believes he has scored the winner. Will and e has now made it 7 6 and he kicked the corner flag. Will and e is elated with that. Oh my god. That was a lovely pass from Chunks. To straight to Will and e, who has a GoPro strapped to his chest. Wow. We're in for an absolute game. Oh my god. He just hit the Sue. He just hit. <laughs> Will there be more late drama in this game? The ball goes to Toby, he does a skillful pass straight to Chris MD. Chris MD has a lot of space in the midfield and he pings one straight back to Toby. That was a beautiful reverse pass. Toby has his defender on an island. Travella crossed into the box. Manny headers it. Oh my god. Oh my god. There is going to be late drama. What a goal by the sidemen. Manny has just leveled it to make it 7-7. Now, we just have to take a look at the trio that were involved. Chris MD had a lot of space in the midfield and managed to find a reverse pass straight to Top Jizzle who was making a darting run down the wing and who was picked out beautifully by Chris MD. Who then makes a Travella cross straight to Manny who headers it in straight past Cal the Dragon. This has been a beautiful goal. From the build up straight to the goal, it was all brilliantly taken. Game on. There we will have late drama. Now, we, who will get the last goal and win the game? It is anybody's guess now. But we should have late drama. This game is certainly not done. Not by a long stretch. If not, we're all levels. We will go to penalties. But I believe we will get a late goal. Hopefully the commentator doesn't curse it. We are now into the 87th minute with Mini Minter now on the ball. He attempts to pass the ball to Toby but just overhits it. Goes straight to Anison Gibb. He should clear it. Anison Gibb with a terrible clearance out straight to Mini Minter. He's not about to do it again, is he? And he chips it over Cal the Dragon to make it 8-7. This is unbelievable. Anison Gibb has to look at himself what was he doing there he just gave the ball straight to mini Minta. and you know mini Minta from any range he will score but he's done it again he's taken another long shot but this time it goes straight above the head of cow the dragon this might be it has mini Minta scored the winner but let's have a look at here again and nissan gibb did not look right when he took the ball he had a lot of space as well maybe the pressure from toby made him do that but he passes the ball straight to Mini Minta. 
He then just says, I see the keeper off his line and then decides, hmm, I'm gonna go for this and then chips it straight over him. Simon's catalogue of the goals he scored in this Simon charity match is incredible. Now the real question is, will the YouTube All-Star team respond and get an equaliser to send us to penalties or will this be done? The YouTube All-Star team have a free kick in the 94th minute. This is surely the last kick of the game. And it's saved by Pieface. What a brilliant save by Pieface who parries that ball straight out. He might have done it. He, fists, he lifts his hand up in the air. He may have done it. He may have done it. This is it. Referee's blown for full time. Pie face with a last minute save. And that's it. The winners of this year's Sidemen charity match goes to the Sidemen team. Who have managed to come back five times in this game. And here they are. The referee's handed them the trophy in the changing room. KSI, the captain, is lifting up the trophy. This is a brilliant moment for them. Yep, so that's me commentating on the Sidemen charity match. I can't lie. That was easy. I'll be real. Commenting on football matches is something that is piss easy. And especially having two other people there. But as a co-commentator, I'll go crazy, I can't lie. But yeah, that's my rendition of me commenting on the last year's Simon Charity match. Let me know how you guys think I did. Aburo, low-key they should I, I low-key I should be there for the next one. I don't know how easy that'll be. I'll be honest. I'll just start taking the piss out of the goalkeepers, I'll be honest. I'll be <laughs> I'll be real. Commentating on games is so easy, man. You can just see it right there. And I'm a natural. I'm a natural. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. That was easy. Bro, imagine. Imagine. Me, Spencer, Steven tries. I'll be real. Low-key. Diversity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, I'm out, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love the way my voice sounds too. I'm kind of ill. But yeah, if I'm at the next one, I'll catch you guys there.